What up the YouTube gang, how you doing? Um, I'm going to bring a new fun uh, video today. We're going to be actually doing a tier list for the setups that I take, um, which ones are the best. Uh, but first of all, um, let's look at our YouTube. We are nearly hitting 1,000 subscribers. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe um, and you get automatically an entered into a Magic Keys giveaway. So make sure you do that. Um, yeah, just click the subscribe button and then you are automatically entered. So yeah, make sure you do that, guys. So let's go on over here. Let's take a look of using this website over here. It's quite a fun one. Um, just thought this would be quite fun. Uh, let's just move myself over here. So let's do this over here. Beautiful. So we're looking over here and we have... Oh, one second. I'll just do this over here. Yeah, beautiful. So we have a tier list. So it goes from sexy as fuck to do not do. Okay. I um, mean, this is the ranks for set plays that come in the markets and which ones you should probably take and which ones you, you shouldn't. And I've got them down here. You probably can't really see them. So I'm going to um, add a bit of a blow up of them. Um, so I'll do this over here. One second. Yeah. So. Uh, the first one over here is a celery play, and this is gonna. This is by um, all credits to Control Effect. He called it a celery play. Um, so let's take a look at it over here. Um, let me just get it up. I'm just giving you going to give you a bigger picture. So this is what we are looking at. This is when a 50 minute time frame goes opposite to the direction. We're quite close to breaking support, and then you take a buy on the exceeding of the high, which normally flips the 30 minute. That's normally when I like it, and I only take salaries on 50 minute time frames. Um, but this is quite a nice one. So for for this, I think it's a very nice, good option, especially when there's volume. Normally, NY really, really does work. Um, it isn't my favorite option but I do quite like it because normally it gives you quite a nice stop loss um, so yeah I think this is pretty good so for me I think I'm gonna put this one at a um, hmm, either okay but not amazing or a good option I think it is a good option especially through NY it doesn't really happen through London and um, so I'm just gonna put it in this tier over here um, let's take a look at some next ones this is also celery so I've got some um, additional ones but anyway um let's take a look at our next one uh let's take a look at um this one over here so this is the closure um back in the range let's have a look over here one second the closure above one sec um where is it here we go so this is the next one we're looking at closure above this for me is a perfect setup okay we get a confirmation that we're leaving a zone a closure above resistance or below resistance and then a beautiful candle entry candle when we make the lower wick and exceed this is a very very nice opportunity for me and i use this a lot of the times so we have a high percentage win rate on this it's about 80 percent and you barely get faked out because you wait for the low wick over here. So really, really solid option. And I'm going to rate this as the GOAT. This is the GOAT and sexy as fuck because I take this on a daily basis. If you join my live streams, you'll see me take this trade a lot of the times. Um, so I highly, highly recommend this trade. Uh, the next one, let's take a look at closures back in the range. This is this one here. Um, these are some other ones. This is closure back in the range in the opposite way. So I'm just going to take a look at this one. Um, this one's a bit of a harder one to explain, but I'm kind of just going to give it, go through it here. So if you are new to my live stream, I basically have daily flip lines and four-hour flips. This is when the t the, those time frames are flipping a different uh, sector. So if price is below this line, this means that the daily is bearish. And if the four-hour, if price is below this line, this is also bearish. But if price is above this four-hour line, it means the four-hour is bullish. So... If, for example, in London we get a closure above and we get a nice trade here, lovely. And normally I wait for support to form, but if this candle over here closes back in the range, it suggests to me that we should continue and fill the range back up. And this is also more confirmed when the four hour and the daily are in our buyer. So if you see here, I'd wait for the top wick. So confirmation we close in, wait for the top wick and then the drive down. Um, and this is normally only executed if the four hour and the daily are bearish for this time for, for this example over here. Um, in another example, it's exactly the same. Let me just show you this one. So this is just opposite, but for buy. So we break the zone, we come back up, we close back in the range, we should flip and then continue and fill the range up with the four hour bullish and the daily bullish. So beautiful. And um, so this is a really, really good option. I actually really, really do rate this option. Um, normally happens when there's a lot of volume in, but I only take this option if the four hour and the daily are present if they are contradicting or if i'm taking a sell when they're still bar, uh, still bullish and um, i will not take it so it doesn't really happen very often but it is quite a nice option so i'm just going to do okay but not amazing for me 
and that is the move over here. Um, the next one, let's take a look. Oh, I like these ones, okay? So, this is a beautiful, beautiful way to get into trade. Let's have a look over here. So, it is support forming and also resistance forming. Let's get just get both of them up. So, here they are side by side. Exactly the same, but just ones for sells and ones for buys. So, you can see over here, we break above. And then normally through 9.30 to 11.30 in the London to NY um, little gap, we normally relax up and we normally rest and close back on the support to then ride it back up. This is really solid entries over here and normally happen at NY. And this normally really just doesn't happen with London, normally happens at NY that I've seen. Same with resistance, we break below and only comes up, retest the support it once had, now acts as resistance and then we drive down. This is a very, very good option for me. I really rate it. Um, and it happens a lot of the time. It's normally nice and clean on the 30 minute than the 15. Sometimes the 15 is a bit choppy. So for that reason, I'm going to put it as a good option and not a sexy as fuck one. So let's just put these over here. Um, this one and uh, where's the last one? Oh, where is it? I can't see it. Um, here. Beautiful. Let me just add some more over here. This is the celery play, I think. Celery play is a good option as well. This is the celery play on the lower time frame. Um, beautiful. And then we have a closer back in, which we already discussed. Let me just put this in this one because that was where it was. So these are just exactly the same, but ones for sells and ones for buys. Beautiful. Um, and then this candle closure as well is this one. Let me just show you. Um, closure below range like this. Beautiful setup. I love this every single time. Gorgeous. So this one also goes in the goated. Where did I put it? Uh, here. Sorry, not here. Where is it? Here. Closure back in the range. Beautiful. And now final one. This is the one. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let me get it up over here. Uh, where is it? Uh, over here. So this is what it is, impulse. So this is basically when you're coming towards a resistance or a support with the, the single candle and you try to enter on the the candle that's actually open. And for me, this is a no-go zone. You should never take these trades unless you are completely confident and it's with a London open or NY open. But still, for me, it is not the best option. All you have to do is wait for the candle to close to get the confirmation that you're getting to, going to leave this zone. And then you can wait for the low wick and then execute. It's much safer. Impulses, they can work sometimes, but their probability is very, very low, and you can get wicked out quite a lot. And your stop loss also is normally quite big because you have to wait, you don't wait for the low wick with the next candle. It's a very, very bad option. It's a very, very impulsive emotion one because basically, why when you're trying to get in here, it's showing to me that you are, you know wanting to get into trade because you're worried you're going to miss the move it shows um fomo in both sides um yeah so not the best option at all i would never take this so this goes in a do not do and this is the list over here so take note of this this is you know very very helpful i went through this in detail in my mentorship um but this is kind of the you know just showing you which ones you should be looking for which ones you shouldn't be looking for and which ones are very very good options um so i hope you enjoyed this video guys quite a quick one over here if you guys have really really like the video make sure to like and subscribe over here um i'm nearly hitting a thousand subscribers and it'll help me out a ton so yeah guys thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one